Hello friends, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox, and today I'm so excited to be presenting for Scrapbook Pal using some of the newer Honeybee Stamps birthday-related products. So again, I'm going to start with this background die. It's called Celebrate, and also the Big Birthday die cut. And then I'm going to work with three different types of cardstock. So I've got black cardstock, which you see here. I've also got um, watercolor cardstock and also just regular cougar white cardstock. And I'm using three different techniques on each one of them. So again, here I am applying embossing powder to the black cardstock. So again, we'll make sure I get good coverage. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the white embossing powder to the black background and heat set it. So again, it really created quite a contrast. I was real happy with the way this one turned out. I also used the white embossing powder on the watercolor background as well as on the cougar, uh, cougar cardstock. So you'll see um, you know, what techniques I used for each one of them. So here I'm just showing you, there's the watercolor cardstock and there is the cougar cardstock. So again, we'll start by doing an ink blending technique. And again, I'm using my um, Altenew um, blending tools and I'm using Kitsch Flamingo, Abandoned Coral, Squeezed Lemonade, Twisted Citron and Salvage Patina on this one. So again, I'm just, you know, adding the, the colors kind of in a rainbow striped pattern. And you see, I'm trying to get good coverage because again, I wanted, I wanted this background to be very, very, very bright. So again, I love rainbows and uh, use them often actually. So <laughs> kind of working on adding the colors here. And then once I got it done, um, I knew that I needed to get rid of some of the ink that had been deposited on top of the embossing powder. So I took just a white paper towel, added just a spritz of water, and you can see here I'm cleaning off the um, cleaning off the uh, the embossing so that again the white really pops. And once I got that done, I kind of decided, oh, that that um, abandoned coral line maybe needed a little bit more brightness to it. So again pulled out the ink again and um, added some more color and then went ahead and wiped it off. So what I ended up doing was I'm used, I used a one of the cupcakes from the Cupcakes and More and I popped it up on a wobbler and that became the entire card. So that was kind of fun. So here I am working with the watercolor background. So again, I've got a rainbow of colors laid out there on my craft mat. And again, I'm just adding uh, the color in a vertical stripe using using um, kind of a kind of a larger a larger brush so again I'm just kind of working here and again the um, the colors here I've got oh gosh wilted violet twisted citron peacock feathers mustard seed picked raspberry and carved pumpkin so again look at how bright that is I just I was real happy with that so I decided to go ahead and use the white shadow background and I'm using a holographic um, cardstock. I love this stuff. It's so much fun to work with because it just really picks up the colors. So again, I ended up uh, gluing the letters on there onto the white shadow background. And then we'll go ahead and just pop that on the front of the card. And that's all you really need. Look at all those colors. So for the final card, um, I'm doing a bunch of steps here. So again, um, this is going to go on the black background. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to do kind of a birthday, um, happy birthday or rainbow happy birthday, I should say. So again, I'm kind of pulling out, this is my um, watercolor distress pencils. These things are great. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm coloring the lines in here and I've got lemonade, savage patina, twisted citron, wilted violet, worn lipstick, and spice marmalade. So again, just coloring in here. And this is what's great about these pencils. Um, there's so many different ways you can use them, but this, this I found to be a really easy way to get a rainbow stripe that I could then cut the words happy birthday out of. So again, I'm just coloring away. And then I'm going to grab a watercolor brush and just kind of smooth out those colors. It just you know, worked really, really well. And you see, I've got a paper towel there so that I can kind of drip the, um, clean the brush off in between colors. And so I'm just, again, watercoloring them out. And then we'll go ahead once that's dry and die cut the happy birthday out of it. 
And so I wanted to kind of pop the, the words out. And you can see here I'm using my Nouveau adhesive to go ahead and attach the, all of the letters and pop them up. Just too much fun. And then I'll add these on a white background. So again, for right now, just making sure I've got my words all together here. And that's how they're gonna go on that white background. So the next thing I did was I pulled out the, this is the Honey Bee's uh, Wax Melts, Let's, Let's Celebrate. So again, I pulled out four each of five different colors. And what I'm planning on doing is making um, balloons out of the wax, um, the wax seals using the, um, the celebrate, there's a let's celebrate uh, wax impression tool from Spellbinders. So we'll go ahead and I'm continuing to melt the wax there. And once it's completely melted, here, I'm just checking here, make sure the, all the blobs get melted. <laughs> So once it is completely melted, I'll go ahead and pick it up and pour it onto my craft mat. These are so much fun to make. I just, I've really started doing a lot with these. I think they're really cool. So again, setting that aside and then putting the wax impression tool on top of it. And once that's dry, you can pop that off. And then I ended up adding silver lettering onto it. So you can see here, here's the card. So I made those into balloons, added that rainbow sentiment. And then there is that wobbler card again. And then there is the watercolor, happy birthday. So I hope you've enjoyed my, my presentation today. We'd love you to go over to Scrapbook Pal and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.